talk to me, 2-5. Listen, I know you're new to the show, huh. and I know it's early. Oh, you got to come at me. <laughs> the Eagles are 2-0 in first game in, in Philadelphia. Yes, sir. DeAndre Swift went crazy, gave yeah. up crazy work. Yeah. I didn't want to do this early, but you are new. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Oh, oh they messed it up. It's time, it baby. It's time. It's time. It's time. I can't hey. tell. We 2 0, baby. <laughs> Jalen Hurts threw a bomb. John J. Swift, he went crazy. Hey. Eagles, we in the building. Hey, they won, but they look like you trying to get that flag open, right? <laughs> it didn't look good. Know you, you know, you can't argue with W's. You find a way to win, you find a way to win. Let's do it again. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. This dude played for the Freighters. Right. He's going to look at that flag, baby. It was a little rocky, though, little man. Rocky. But hey, you found a way to get the W. Impressed, so. Joy? That's what I expected to see. Mm. Plus, the one thing you can count on, Shady, Kirk Cousins in prime time. Oh, yeah, Kirk man. Cousins in prime time. Eagles did that find a way to get it done. That's James Jones, Super Bowl champ mm. on the far end. To his right, the brilliant Joy Taylor. And to my right, Eagles all-time Russian leader, but he already kind of introduced himself, <laughs> America. Let me introduce first in 10, shall I? Jalen Hurts, three total touchdowns in the game, and the run game was on full display. 259 Ooh. yards. Eagles off to a 2 0 start after that win last night against the Vikings, bringing us back on camera, back on camera. Okay, the jokes were great. The fun was fantastic to start the show. But the real, real, as I was thinking about it, Eagles won. They got the W. They did whatever it takes to get the W. But I am not convinced that they yet look like the Super Bowl contenders they were last year. Oh. When I look at the context of how teams in the NFC look right now, mm -hmm. through two weeks, it's only two weeks. Acho, relax, yeah. calm down. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, but the Eagles didn't look as the Cowboys, haven't in two weeks. And in two weeks, the Eagles haven't looked as good as the Niners. So the Eagles do not look like a top two NFC team. Mm -hmm. So they don't look like those two contending Super Bowl teams that we have discussed. And the Eagles have had two stabs at it. Now, they won, mm -hmm. got it done. Win and advance. If we being really real, all they had to do in the playoffs last year was win. Yeah. Giants game, Eagles offense didn't look great. Mm -hmm. Against the Niners, Eagles offense didn't have to look great. So the Eagles mantra has always been win and advance. But now that we have context of the entirety of the National Football League, Cowboys looked significantly better than the Eagles have in their one performance, and the Niners look significantly better than the Eagles have in their one performance. So, Jay, I don't yet see the Eagles as that same dominant team yet that they were last year. How do you see them? I'm defense? with you. Uh, the blessing about it is we're talking about corrections and not playing the right way after W's, right? So mm -hmm. I know the Philadelphia Eagles will live with that, right? Because they're like, okay, we ain't playing our best football, right? We ain't really got a rhythm on offense yet with the new offensive coordinator, but we find a ways to win. But you're right. Jalen Hurts does not look like the Jalen Hurts of last year. Right, and, and that's just, it could be, it's only two games with this offensive coordinator. It, it, it could be all that. It could be no preseason like you, it could be all that. Him trying to find, but he does not look like the Jalen Hurts of last year. In five quarters, he got two turnovers, and it, and it should be three, right? In seven games last year, he had two turnovers, right? When you look at this offense, you got those two explosive plays in the passing game to, to uh, Devontae Smith. Other than that, the Boo Birds came out in Philly. They That's how booing. bad the offense was looking early on in that game until they said, you know what? And I, I kind of felt the offensive coordinator said, you know what? I'm going to take this ball out of Jalen Hurts' hands, and I'm going to tote this yeah, thing. Yeah. And it was, what, 12 straight runs, 13 straight runs in a row? And kudos to the Philadelphia Eagles because they can do both, and they answered the bell with, with uh, Swift being able to run the ball. But this does not – I'm with you. It does not look like – a Super Bowl contender, and they do not look like they can mess with the Cowboys or the Niners, and it's only two weeks for the Eagles and one week for the Cowboys, but it don't look like that. It don't look like that. I'm just using my eyes like you tell me, Shady. You, That's did, it. you did tell him, Shady, <laughs> to use his eyes. I'm just using my you eyes. You told him to use his eyes. That's what you told him. <sighs> Counseling. <laughs> <laughs> Good take, brother. Yeah. We're here on a Friday, right? It's Friday? It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. And, and, and the, the conversation sounds like the Eagles lost. Right. Oh. The conversation sounds like the Eagles lost. Not that their first game at home, they won. I guess mm -hmm. a, a solid team, good quarterback, one of the best receivers in the league. It's like we lost. So Jalen Hurts, he, he could have threw the ball more efficient. Mm -hmm. Of course. He could have had more touchdowns. No doubt. Right? No doubt. Uh, 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 defense probably could have played a little better. No doubt. Right? 
But at the end of the day, we won the game. And, no doubt. And I, you played this game, right? No question. And I love so it. have I. Yeah. And the, the main goal in every game you play is w. to what? W. It's to win the game. No doubt. But listen, I can say this, and I can be fair and honest. It's my team. I'm biased, but I'll be honest. It wasn't our best performance. Thank you. That's it, Shady. That's but, all we asked. But, 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 but it's always some good and some bad. No question. And in, in, in the bad, because we didn't play great. Yeah. But in the good that I found out is that we have a number one running back, yeah. DeAndre yeah. Swift. Yeah. So when our MVP quarterback or the pass game is not working out, no we can go to that running game. No doubt. And we can ask the running back to carry the load and like he, he did. did. And he did. He carried the load. Yeah. 175 Ooh. yards, got crazy, crazy Ooh. busy. Mm -hmm. So my thing is this. When you take something that's great from a team, right? Take that away. Yeah. What else can they do? Mm -hmm. We can run the ball. That's right. And now I know that, That's and now facts. the world knows that. That's facts. It's going to be dangerous to deal with us. Hey. So, and last thing before I'm done, when the Chiefs won the championship last year, right, mm -hmm. it looked different. It did. It looked different. It did. Why can't we do the same? Mm. We have to run the ball more this year. I ain't saying you can't. We just Because when we get that ring, ring, it don't matter. We get this ring, <laughs> close, I need a close up. Can you take his one shot, please? Come on now. Can you take his one Come shot? On, I need a onesie. Thank when we you. get this ring, I got two. We get this ring right here. That's all that matters. I need a onesie. That's all that matters. Fly Eagles fly, baby. I'm glad you was real with yourself, though. It didn't look that good. That's all we asked. Who cares what it looked like? It's about wins and losses. This is not college. You don't have to win pretty. You don't have to win with flair. You don't have to win one way. Who cares? It's, a, it's almost like, I don't know, I'm listening to everyone talk. Shady, it feels like I'm, I just got, like, went back in time, like to last year. The last year when everyone was saying that, can Jalen Hurts throw the ball? How are they gonna be able to win if Jalen Hurts doesn't look like he can throw the ball well? One or two plays, but can he do it consistently? Right. And then they're running the ball. Are they going to be able to do that against everybody? They haven't really beat anyone. They're not really winning convincingly. They're not really putting up the amount of points that we want. It's, it's always that. It's wins and losses. That's, that's what this comes down to. And then in the end, when you're in the big game, it's anyone's game. Anyone's game. Anyone's game. So I don't, I thought that was a great performance by Philadelphia. I'm not mm. impressed because I'm not surprised. Right. One, because that's what, you know, it's not all on Kirk Cousins yesterday, but that's, that's how it usually goes for the Vikings in prime yeah, time. the Vikings gave it up. Okay, but that's, that's what it is. Yeah. And they're still the team to beat in the NFC. Yes, Dallas had an unbelievable performance in week one, mm. but we haven't gotten to Dallas's week two performance mm. yet. San Francisco had an amazing performance in week two. In week one, we haven't gotten to their week two performance yet. So we don't actually have all the nuance of those two other teams who I think are going to have good games this weekend, particularly the Cowboys, considering who their opponent is. But what are we talking about, Shady? What are we talking about? They're Taylor? Two oh. Why do you have to win with pizzazz? And also, it's okay to be getting better. It's okay to be working on things. As I said, we saw a lot of bad ball last weekend. I anticipate we'll see some more bad ball this weekend. I don't know if the rookies are going to come out swinging. I don't know if some of these new systems are going to be in place yet. We don't have all that information. But what I do know is the Eagles are 2 up. The reason I care, you said who cares. The reason I care, James, I can't speak <laughs> for you. But the reason I care is because to some degree at this desk, we have to forecast. Or at least I have. I try to forecast, right? Last year we saw the Vikings won 11 games by one possession. And we were like, they're winning. But they not just winning. Mm -hmm. And then came that Giants game, and none of us were surprised because we were all like, yeah, we, we knew that. The Vikings were winning, yeah. but they not just winning. Uh -huh. And so when I'm looking at this Eagles team, before I even compare them to the Niners or the Cowboys, uh -huh. I compare them to themselves. Okay. I compare the Eagles to themselves from last year. And I'm like, wait a second, last year Jalen Hurts threw two games, you had 576, four touchdowns and one interception. This year through two games, you got 370. Four touchdowns and two turnovers. I'm speaking of total touchdowns here, mm -hmm. passing and rushing. So even when I compare Jalen Hurts to himself, I'm like, man, Jalen don't look just as good just yet. Exactly. The only reason I care, because you ask a great question, it is, who cares? The only reason I care is because I'm like, okay, Bill Belichick had a game plan that seemingly worked to limit Jalen Hurts. Brian Flores had a game plan that seemingly worked oh. to limit Jalen Hurts. It's a copycat league. The last thing I found interesting, and I just found it interesting. It might not matter. I get it if it doesn't to y'all. I found it interesting. In the second quarter with 10 minutes left, when Brian Johnson, the offensive coordinator, chose to take the ball out of the Philadelphia Eagles' alleged best player's hands, mm -hmm. I just found it interesting. Yeah. It worked. It was smart. Run the ball 16 straight times. It was smart. It was the smartest thing the Philadelphia Eagles could have done. Brilliant. Great decision. It's what led them to win the game. But I was just sitting back like, this is weird. Like, this is weird when the Eagles are in a bind. They're running, the, the, like they're handing it off. It just felt weird to me. So, so I, I, let, me, let me just unfold all that you just said. Please do. Because I, I, I get your point. They pay a lot, Jalen Hurts, all this money. But my thing is, like, when you give money to a player, cool, right? We still got to play football. Yes, sir. And in football, we run the ball. Oh, they, they weak in the middle? Hold up. 
we about to run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Tom Brady, the best quarterback, no, best player we've ever seen in football. Yep. There's times when he run the ball all day and all night. Am I tripping? No, sir. So my thing is like, okay, we might have didn't throw the ball as much as we wanted to. There were some plays that we probably could have had back. I mean, Jalen Hurst does a great job scrambling out, throws a deep ball to the right to uh, A.J. Brown, and gets mm-hmm. called back from holding. So like we had some plays that we dismissed. Yeah. But we, we can't take, because the, the, it's money involved, take away from the game of football. But real quick, you talked about Brian Flores. Yes, sir. Hell of a defense coordinator. Brilliant defensive mind. Two years ago, he's with the Dolphins, yes, head coach, mm-hmm. and running the defense. Mm-hmm. They shut down Lamar Jackson. Do you remember that? Yes, sir. All the blitz zero concept. blitzes. Yep. Did you see a lot of blitzes last night? Yeah, uh, yep. So, and pseudo blitzes, yep. So... The Ravens couldn't figure it out, but we did. Okay, he's, he has us numbered with the pass. Cool. Mm-hmm. What are we going to do, Joy? Run the ball. We're going to run the ball because we want to win. We can't look at all this, the numbers of who's getting paid. At the end of the day, the job and the goal is to win True. football games. I won't argue and with you're that. Right. The I job and the goal is to win football games, but that's not the question. The question is, <laughs> do the Philadelphias look like the Philadelphia Eagles need to look? The first two weeks, the answer is clearly no. They do not look like the Philadelphia Eagles of last year. And you can see that with just on the sideline. A.J. Brown and the quarterback going at it. They wasn't going at it. You a wide receiver. You going to sit here and say that. 100%. And I've been Every in those situations. Every receiver, no matter what the game is, if no. it's, I play with all type of receivers. Only way I can say it was different was Mike Evans. Everybody else, I don't care if we up by 30 or we down by three. I want the ball. You know how wide receivers are. You, listen, you guys are prima listen, donnas. Listen to, me. <laughs> listen to me. Number one, that wasn't being done last year, right? That is a frustration about the offense or the quarterback. I don't care how you want to slice it. I was one of them receivers. You ain't never catch me on TV complaining about the Rock, ever. You Never. That, that's not what I was. If Jordy was eating, it was Jordy Day, right? But that's a frustration when you talk about how the offense is looking and on top of him not getting the ball. But even with that being said, the first two games, mm-hmm. they have not looked like the Philadelphia Eagles of last year. The first two games, he has not looked like the Jalen Hurts that was on the field last year. He just hasn't. Are they getting the Ws, and is that covering up of how he's playing? Absolutely. But if they weren't getting the Ws, we'd all be sitting here saying, man, this boy don't look the same as last year. This team don't look the same. But, but the are. Ws is covering it up. But that ain't the question. The question is, how do these boys look? And they don't look like Super Bowl contenders at all. But this is how the Eagles always play. Not last That's year. How- yes, it was. They win how they need to win. They absolutely played like this last year. They win how they need to win. But they look better. Like, they, they, look just, better. they look better. You know what? I look at the wins and the losses right now. This is the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. It looks like, to me, they have two wins, by the way, against other professional teams. They get paid money, too. They get paid to be there as well. Bill Belichick is the greatest defensive mind in the history of the NFL. He can't scheme something up. He can't try to take away your best player or Mm. neutralize your best option because that's only what he's been doing since he got into the league. The Vikings were a good team last year. Now, part of the reason why we didn't believe in the Vikings is because of who their quarterback is, at least for me. But Vikings had a ton of talent. They still do. That's a professional team with great coaching. We just talked about what Brian Flores did. And it did work. It worked, Until right. it didn't. Because right. they didn't win the game. Right. I hear what you're saying about you want it to look a certain way. But if they're winning and finding ways to win, and more importantly, adjusting to the other team's adjustments and still able to win... That, to me, is comforting. Why does, why does particularly Jalen Hurts have to constantly prove himself? We talk about Brock Purdy. He's played in nine games in this league. He's a franchise quarterback. Jalen Hurts has been paid an all-pro, an MVP, and led his team to the Super Bowl. And every week, he's got to look like prime right, Peyton right. Manning or everything's falling apart. I don't think he has to look like prime Peyton Manning. And I apologize if that's what it sounds like I'm saying. What I'm saying is he did not look through the first two and a half quarters good. You made a great point. He did realize it. To me, it just took him longer than I would have liked for him to realize it because against better competition, you wouldn't have had that advantage. If not for a fumbled punt, if not for a Justin Jefferson uh, muffed touchback, the Eagles just wouldn't have, would have been in a more vulnerable position. Mm. So I'm not asking Hurts to look like prime Peyton. What I'm saying is you can't throw a bad interception if your team is in need. Against the Patriots with three minutes left, you're hard-pressed to fumble with the game on the line. I don't need Hurts to look elite. But through two weeks, he just hasn't looked I, I, great. And, and Asha, like, you, you have a point. that he's, He hasn't been as, as great as last year, right? The numbers say it, some of the fumbles. I mean, but, but that's football. Like, y'all acting like y'all, don't, y'all never played this team. Like, y'all know it's, it's, it's hard to, 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 to ball out every single game. You have that. I've had bad games, a lot of them. 
I had some baggage. <laughs> but but I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm joking about it, but I'm just saying, like, at the end of the day, you're trying to win. True. And, I, and I get it. You, oh, you have a point. Like, he probably should be, you know, to picks, the turnovers. Right. Last year, it was way different. But as long as we win in games, That's all that matters. You, you can work on it. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Oh, matters. I've seen you drop a lot of pets. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I did. <laughs> I did. I did. I ain't pride for like that. I'm that. Hey, you going to turn on the table and bop? <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.